So, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's always good to see everyone again. And um, this is the start for our first week of beating um, for this week. But I, 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 we call, I call it jury making, but it's also that um, get together or the ability for us to be together around uh, a craft, but it's always looking at it as it's our time to enjoy ourselves yes. around a common subject. So on that note, my wow for this week is the word humble, H-U-M-B-L-E. And that word came to me while I was listening to the news. And um, hearing all of the things surrounding people and what's happening in their lives, you know, people still being concerned about um, using, having used up all their savings or not knowing where they're going to be living, um, fighting evictions and other things. And of course, um, these have always been uh, issues for some. But particularly at this time with the pandemic, it's really accelerated a lot of the negative things that are happening in the lives of others. And I realized at that point that I am fortunate that I'm not in that position. But then it also made me look back on and realize that we need to be humble for many, many reasons. And I think in the past, one of the words I used was having empathy. But honestly, at that time when all of this happened, when I was listening to all of this, I really felt for that moment that I wanted to cry and being humble and thanking God because it's not one of the concerns in my daily life. And I just want us to think about and remember that we need to not forget those that are experiencing those things, but always being humble about what we are about and what we don't have to think about at this particular time, because there is a lot, a lot to think about. But for that moment, I thought, my goodness, you know, being that mom or that single mother, or whether you're single mother or not, I mean, even a family are experiencing all of these things. Um, so anyway, that's how I came across the word, just being humble. Yeah. So that's my word of the week. Any thoughts, any comments? Ooh, we quiet today. Ooh, <laughs> okay. All right. I've got um, several reminders that I want to uh, share with you guys again. And um, reminding you tomorrow is the Surviving and Thriving, which is a celebration of breast cancer survivors. And I don't know about other facilities. I'm assuming that most of them um, have had these events in the past. I can only speak directly in regards to Darnell sponsoring this, but of course it is a virtual event. So it is open to anyone and everyone that access the virtual uh, program when it's on. So tomorrow from 1030 to 1130, and this will be hosted by Melita, which is who is Buffy as we know her. And in the past, I've always gone to the center and attend the event, but I'm asking you or inviting you, if you have the opportunity to at least join in, it's a spectacular event. And um, they always do such a great job. And normally, and they will have tomorrow testimony from people who are survivors from breast cancer. And this is another circumstance that if you have the opportunity to hear it firsthand and see it firsthand, it's another thing of being humble too. So um, they're asking that you, if you join in to wear pink to uh, mark the celebration. And I mean, some people will have on a pink ribbon or whatever, but this is tomorrow. And um, I always ask when, they are, when the events like this come about, we need to, if we can, show support. 
because behind the scenes of the things that you get to enjoy attending a virtual class, there's a lot of work that goes into the try to make these events seamless, even though we're not physically together in the same room. But the concept is, is trying to give you the same opportunities to share things that we did in the past. So anyway, um, during this time, they will have games, prizes, um, and they will have an I Will Survive exercise. And I'm anxious to once again be a part of this, but this happens tomorrow. Okay. Any thoughts, questions, comments? Ooh, still quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. My reminder again, October 30th. Who knows what happens on October 30th? Pumpkin. Very good, Mary. We're still um, advertising and make everyone aware about our fall masquerade festival and pumpkin decorating contest. <laughs> And it is on October 30th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. We are asking you if you like to wear a mask or costume. Still, it's still virtual, but we can do this. And you, when you wear these masks or costumes, be as creative as you want to be. As far as the pumpkin judging contest, or entries, you may dress your uh, plastic pumpkin, your real pumpkin, your honey pumpkin, <laughs> whatever you choose to. However, please, please, please plan to participate. In addition to that, they, they will have line dancing, um, the costume show and tell, the decorated pumpkin um, contest and and a cooking demo. So what more can you ask for? You <laughs> probably can, but don't enjoy these festivities. <laughs> enjoy the festivities that have been planned for you. And I am looking for and expecting participation. And if things still ring true, I think um, I'm still one of the judges for the pumpkin decorating contest, which I love and enjoy. Um, it just, it, every time we do this, I am so amazed or blown away by the creativity that we, the seniors, still have. <laughs> That's right. So... Any thoughts or comments in that regard? Mm. Um, yes, Mary. Uh, accessing is going to be on the uh, schedule. The uh, the uh, yes, yes, including um, tomorrow's event is on the new schedule. Speaking of which, there was a new schedule that was um, published. I think this week. It it has an end date of November eleventh. So who am I sending the schedule to? I got to uh, find, uh, I took notes last week at that meeting we went to. Right. And uh, call the center or call Mr. Roderick and I got to find my numbers so I can, because I still know I'm still not getting a. Uh... Okay, well, Roderick's number is 404-731-1111. He's the schedule coordinator. Right. Yeah, you're talking about from the meeting we had, Amir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's his number. Um, okay, Nancy and Mary, um, once we finish class, I'll forward the current schedule. Everybody else got the notice? Okay. All right, we're good. Okay, now, just to update you on another event. Uh, okay. Moving forward, um, and you know, this is the uh, period for uh, Medicare enrollment and um, issue. Well, I think there are other insurances too, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to stutter over this. But just to make you aware, on 
two Tuesdays, I know October 27th and November 10th will be called Medicare Tuesdays. And during this time, Miss Queenie Jordan, who's a rep for Medicare, will be available to provide you with updated information regarding Medicare. So this is your opportunity to be involved with that. And um, the session that Ms. Kelly has starts at 1230. And I'm assuming that it will be on the schedule, but I was um, involved in her class. I usually attend her class on Tuesdays at 1230. It's called Less Chat. Very interesting uh, forum. But um, yesterday, uh, she made us aware of the upcoming Medicare Tuesday meetings for those two dates I'm aware of, and I'm almost certain that it will be on the schedule. What um, is being asked, if you plan to attend those meetings and have questions regarding the Medicare program, is that you email your questions in advance to Callie, and Callie's email address is Callie, C-A-L-L-I-E, dot Williams at Fulton County GA dot gov. And Fulton County GA is all together, no spaces, no anything. So I'll repeat, it's Callie dot Williams at Fulton County GA dot gov, G O V. And that will allow her the opportunity to give the get the questions over to Miss Jordan so that if there's any research or anything that needs to be done, that she will be able to provide your information or answers quickly. Margaret, let me call you back. So are there any uh, questions or comments? Okay. Are we all good with that? Okay. All right. Let me just try to change something. Okay, we're good. All right. So thus far, make sure I don't have anything else I'm missing. Um, I'll take care of that with you guys. All right. Now, moving on. So my next thing is, is our show and tell. And at this time, unless I meet someone, um, I will, um, Mary did submit something and Nancy did. I will uh, just preview Nancy since she's in this class. Most time hers is like B work. So um, I'll do that, and then I'll get into the subject matter that I have for today. We good? All right, Pat, you're muted. I can't hear yes. you. Yes. And, yeah, the, yeah, but I was talking about Pat. I, I hear you, Linda. Okay, thank you, Pat. Uh, yes, thank you. And no problem. All right, so what we have is... Is Mary who did the jewelry store this time? <laughs> oh, don't be granddaddy. Mary, okay. you're going to have a jewelry store, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. So, Mary, do you want to just talk about your? Well, <laughs> pleasure, joy, peace. Wow. Joy, peace. Um, what? Um, my happy place. Um, I just do a little bit every. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's a little bit to me, okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I guess I enjoy doing jewelry. It's, it's, it's really a calming, calming factor for me, and it, you would have to know me to understand that. Uh, I have a lot going on, and it's, it's where I, I, I am calm. I am at my best. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just enjoying me at that time. To get away from all everything else. That's what it's about. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I bend a little wide. And, and I noticed I'm, I need to try to do the beading, but I, I think it's a focus point that we were talking about last last week. Okay. But 
the bending the wire, I think, has something to do with stress. <laughs> I mean, really, it, it does. When I'm bending, I'm, it helps. Okay. It helps. It helps. Uh, I just love doing it. And of course, now I love wearing it. Um, I have so much, I don't know where to put it at. I'm not going to wear it all, but I'm going to try. Well, what's interesting, when you made the comment, when you making the jewelry, how it makes you, it relaxes you and calms you, and immediately I thought of the volume of jewelry I've seen you made to me. You should be calm all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, that, that's not. I mean, no, it, no. It's, it's, it's just, okay. it's just a comment. <laughs> Whatever. But I mean, it's it's beautiful. You do a grand job. You really, love really love do. Love yes, you did, Mary. And it's mm -hmm. good that you release your tension and worries. That's the best thing. And that's a plus for me. Believe me, the jury class itself. Uh, has been a blessing because I sit here uh, um, unemployed for almost 11 years and uh, you, you, you need to keep stay vital. When someone told me I need to go somewhere and I, I knew I liked jewelry, so that was the, right. that was a, that was the place for me. And mm -hmm. um, every, and, and I want to learn it all. It just may take me a while and everything to me seems to be a little hard in the beginning, but once I get it, I seem to just do. Well, it seems like that that um, work with the wire though has been oh, it's that important. part to me that works for you. It does. It's a blessing. So let me see here, Nancy. I didn't want to do your piece this morning. Do it this afternoon. That's okay. That's okay. okay. I, I'm just explaining to you I, why I did not at this at this point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, you know. All right. We're good. Um, what I want to do at this point is um, let me go back for a moment. And um, are there any other questions or comments? We're good. All right. Last week, I mentioned to you all about macrame. And, um, you know, kind of taking you into a different arena because uh, people that have been in jewelry making for a long time with me understand that when we talk about jewelry, but there are so many components to jewelry. I mean, you have this hierarchy that says jewelry, but then you have all of these other components that are part of that big picture. And, um, and these components are different techniques, like wire wrapping and wire is its own technique. But one of the things that came into play, um, maybe about, it's been probably five or six years ago, is like macrame made this big comeback again, because we were doing all of these slider bracelets and uh, friendship bracelets. And then I think you got some of the, um, performers like Jay-Z and all, all of a sudden everybody's wearing this arm full of like, you know, ties and dangles and everything else that was done on these wrap bracelets. And then they came out with the Chen Lao or Chen Lu, they call it. And these are these wrap bracelets and all. But one of the things that particularly made a big impact is go because a lot of people from years ago knew how or remember how to do the base, some of the basic macrame knots. So today, what I want to do is talk about macrame, and um, I have my clipboard here. So I will um, kind of go into this a little bit, and um, you know, if you have a question, stop me so that we can talk about it. But let me go back to my shared screen here. Okay, what's nice about macrame is it doesn't require a lot of tools at all. So you can purchase, um, companies sell what they call these macrame boards and then macrame forms and whatever. But what's nice about it is it's easy to get started using a very simple clipboard. Can you guys see this? Yes. Oh, okay. Just check. Yes. Okay. So this is a clipboard. <laughs> And um, I always recommend getting the clipboard because they are clipboards that now have that little bar, that little, and it's open. You want one of the original clipboard uh, because it allows you to, it's the tension is really tight on this. 
and allows you to anchor your threats. Also, I always have a binder clip that fits my board. And when I say fits, is one that when I, because we use it to clamp your cords down. So when I do this, it anchors my cord because essentially when we're talking about macrame and creating these square knots, we focus more on the square knot, is that we have what we call wrapping threads and we have a core thread. But your core thread can be a single thread, a double thread, but the core thread is that piece that your wrapping threads go around to create your square knot. So in addition to the uh, board and your um, clip, and that particular board, I found it at Walmart. I got two in the packet for, um, I think about $5, okay? So in addition to that, you need some type of cord and some people do macrame with ribbons and other things is i say some type of cool whatever you choose and then if you're going to use beads with them then you want your beads and the thing that you have to think about is your beads and your threads your thread should be of a thickness that will thread allow you to thread your beads onto it if you opt to go with beads on your Okay. And once you have these, what, four items, you can create your piece. So now I'm going to try something and I hope that it works. I've been playing around with this for a minute. I spend so much time playing around with them. Um, You're working hard. Uh, trying to get it to that point. Can you guys see this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You have two different kind of thread or four different kind? I'll tell you about it in a minute. It's just, oh. it's just a mix. Oops, sorry about that. I did that. I'm sorry. I was trying to create the speaker.
Okay. All right, we're good. So uh, quickly, Linda, your question to me about the chords. The, no, because just now I couldn't see it though. Okay. Uh, what happened is the chord that I'm using has all these different colors to it. So it may have <laughs> looked like, but what I basically had was um, two chords. I cut two pieces of this the same length. And I just mm -hmm. folded it in half. And it was yes. clipped under the top, was clipped under the board. So it might have looked like um, several other colors. Now, yeah. um, so I have one more <laughs> quick video I want you to see, and then I'll uh, get back. And I think that may help you a little bit. Um, okay, can, thank you. You're welcome. Let me go back. This is the first time I'm trying this with the video thing on here. And so. Bear with me, little. I'll have some more kinks worked out with this. <laughs> okay, um, this one. Okay.
So what you think? The video has no sound, right? It did. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh? It did. But you I can't hear anything. anything. No, it did. Did anybody else hear sound on it? No. Really? None? A little okay. bit. I thought I'm the only one. Sporadically. sporadically. Very okay. Minute. No, it has sound to it. So what I will do is see if I can share. That's one of the, when I lost you guys before, I was trying to adjust the sound to it, but it does have sound to it. I didn't, you should have put up a hand and says, check. Okay. I wanted okay. to, but I wasn't sure that I should have stood <laughs> That's up okay, you. always. No, no, no. All right. I'm going to see if I can share. But it's okay, we understand. From oh. the, it's very well done on the video that well, you can see very well. I, I was practicing that yesterday. Um, and I'm not certain if this may not be my uh, laptop because yesterday when I was on a session, I lost my sound from the class that I was in. And I think it was my, my laptop. And that would be uh, very bothersome to me because this laptop isn't six months old. I need to do a sound check on it. No, this is a brand new laptop. But um, it did happen to me yesterday, and I think it was with my side, not with, because everybody else was in the session and could hear, but I, they lost me. Mm. But I will double check that. And um, so this is what um, macrame is about. I've lost Pat, I think. But, um, you know, just wanted to get you in the different directions of other things that can be done and other ways that you can make jewelry pieces without ha if, having a lot of beads and other things um, just to take care of another component of the jewelry making process. So... Is there anything in particular that um, I can focus on or you'd like to focus on as far as a particular technique that I need to look at? I miss the part that you say about the thread. Where do you get the thread? What kind of thread is it? It's, it's nothing Is it special. a similar one that you uh, use it for tidying up the things? Um, and when you go into places like Hobby Live and Michaels and all, you just go back to where they like have thicker threads. Um, like Normal this thread? Was, no, it's not, not, no, you want a thread that's kind of thick. This particular yeah, I think thread I have right this one. here. I'm sorry. Mm. I have this one, but I think I, uh, it wasn't from my curry, something like you use it for tight, streaming the things together. Well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it could be any thick cord. This particular spool of uh, cord that I have came from a, a place, upholstery type place, you know, where they have the thicker threads. So mm -hmm. even if you go into places like Joanne and all in the back when they have the heavy fabric that people use for making pillows or whatever, it's not um, something unique. Like I said, a lot of people will do them macrame using this uh -huh. and other things as long as you know how to you know, do the square knot. Mm -hmm. Okay, on your video, when you do the knots, right, on top where you clip it there, did you tie already two first before you, you continue with the knot and then another tree and then knot and another tree? Well, in the second one, when I was using this white thread, uh. I cut three separate strand, strands, I'm sorry, of thread. And then I just knotted, tied them together and clip it under the clip. Oh, I see. This, so I thought I saw some knots on the top, though. Right, yeah. I just tied. I cut three equal length of thread. Mm -hmm. And then I just tied them together with a knot. Mm, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, on that note, I'm still asking you if you come up with anything you'd like to focus me to focus on. I would like for you, if you have not tried the macrame before, to try at least making the square knots. Um, mm -hmm. You know, feel free to send me an email so that I can work on that for you. And um, I really want to take you to the areas that you honestly would like to work in. So please reach out, let me know. And I'm hoping that tomorrow I will see some of your faces in the virtual really event. Fun. And otherwise, uh, please stay in touch. 
Be uh -huh. careful, stay vigilant, and let's thrive. Okay? So All this right. is the end of class session for today, but it's, as always, it's good to see you. And for those of you I, I will probably see again, I look forward to it. Thelma, it's always good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.